Thank you very much for being here with us today. We're so happy to have you. Can you each tell us a little bit about your own research? Can I start? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm presenting here my work on thesis, and it was a lambda parameter model for the study of cerebrospinal venous flow. So we modeled the vessels of in both intracranial and extracranial districts, and we built a model uh, with the hydraulic resistance. Uh, so we qualitatively described uh, what happens in the case of CCSVI, for example, when some of the diameters of the vessels are reduced for some causes. So it's a qualitative presentation of what happens in this pathological case. I think. Yes. Um, um, instead, uh, I work with um, uh, for a, with a collaboration with Dr. Eki uh, and his group, and so uh, it was uh, uh, a very good, I think, collaboration, international collaboration, uh, and we worked at um, the evaluation of the cerebrospinal fluid flow uh, related to alterations uh, of. Uh, uh, the main outflow from the brain that, that are the internal jugular veins and we found uh, uh, some alterations so the CSF flow is measured at C2 level uh, has different patterns uh, uh, between MS patients and healthy controls that was what, uh, what we were investigating for because uh, uh, all is linked so we have an arterial input and we must have the same amount of outflow coming uh, from the internal jugular vein but also the CSF so if the jugular veins or the uh, venous outflow in general is uh, alterated we expected that also CSF flow is alterated and we found um, higher peaks uh, of CSF coming to the brain, from the brain and to the, into the brain. So this is the main fun, finding. And how do you see your work interrelate? Well, um, uh, she, she, has, she has come uh, to our hospital uh, talking with me and uh, with the um, director, director of our department uh, because uh, we collaborate uh, um, I've studied uh, at Politecnico of Milan too, and uh, we are collaborating uh, uh, with me and Dr. Cecconi, that is the director of the radiology department. And now we want to, um, um, to further uh, work on her model uh, that, match, that matches uh, uh, with uh, our clinical um, data with the uh, ecodoppler evaluation on MS. Um, to improve our model, she can she can say how. Yes, it should be a long collaboration between Politecnico di Milano and the Fondazione Don Gnocchi. So I'm from Politecnico di Milano. I'm not a clinician, so I'm a bioengineer, and uh, we are collaborating with clinicians. So we want to uh, um, improve our model so we can describe what happens in clinician in clinician cases, so in clinical cases. And what we are doing now is to uh, at the model in standing position, we just had the laying position, and we want to add the compliance of the vessels, and so to make our mo to make our model as more realistic as possible, so we can describe what happens to patients. So, what are the next steps for this research? Then, I mean, while you're you're, you're going to come here and do this, or you're going to go to Dr. Lagana's hospital and do this work? How will you conduct your? Yes, um, next we will stages? collaborate uh, from Politecnico di Milano with Fondazione Don Gnocchi uh, by the comparison of data. Okay. So, the outputs of our model with their clinical clinical data, clinical ACD data and MRI data, what she is working for, and um, so we improve the model so they can have. Uh, more results anyway. And what will this mean for patients? We wanted to see if uh, um, her research uh, comes from um, a clinical question. That, that is the question of Dr. Cecconi. Uh, he asked, uh, okay, but it's possible that an alteration on diameter, uh, of the diameter of the extracranial vessel is it possible that this causes uh, an alteration of the flow uh, 
uh, in the brain and uh, I think they gave uh, a good answer to this because even if the model uh, is uh, uh, 1D, uh, it, it, has, uh, all, it, it has a good uh, anatomical uh, network uh, that is both uh, ex of extracranial vessels and also intracranial vessels. And, uh, and they found that uh, with the uh, extracranial vessels alteration, this can correspond to uh, an intracranial, an, an, an inversion of flow in intracranial vessels. We want to mechanically explain what happens when uh, there is an obstruction or a stenosis in extracranial vessels. So what happened at level of pressures and flows, both intracranial and extracranial, so mechanically. Right. Okay. What's, what's the most critical takeaway for people to understand about the work that you're both doing? Uh, um, it's difficult also for the mathematics and engineers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, because it's quite a work uh, between the technical point of view, so my point of view, and the clinician point of view, that's it's completely different. So sometimes it's really, really different to be able to talk to each other, to use the same vocabulary, to make understand what I want to say, or, or the opposite, of course. So I think the most difficult st stuff here in this work is to make each other understand what we are doing together. So to find a, a similar vocabulary between clinicians, between engineers, and between patients, of course. Is that something you're both working on? <laughs> yes, it is. OK, is there anything you'd like to add that I haven't asked you? No, just thank you for the possibility of being here, and that's it. Well, thank you. What, why did you come to, to this conference? I should ask you that. And why do you feel it's important to be here? Um, I. Uh, I worked with um, Dr. Aki's group for three months, uh, and uh, I really I, I've been also at the last uh, ISNBD conference. Uh, um, I think that having a conference where um, it is uh, monothematic, so it is uh, on this team, and we can uh, meet together and exchange uh, ideas. Uh, um, and maybe um, we can find um, some, re some ideas or researches that have not been published yet. And we can see um, also, not only in MS, but also for other pathological disease, what can match what. And so it's a, it's a great oca occasion, I think, for meeting. And yes, to discuss and to meet the people that you just usually see on the paper and to talk with them and maybe to try to find some points that are common between different mm -hmm. researches, that it's not so easy if you just have your paper and you just read mm -hmm. through it. So it's an occasion to um, exchange some information and some ideas. Thank you so much, ladies. We really appreciate you talking to us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.